But anyway, uh, Spectrum, just real briefly, some more comments from the people, Brian Last, on Spectrum, who, as I've mentioned, completely botched the in-person internet summit that we had, still haven't given me the shit that I'm supposed to be paying for. Nobody ever called me. Their phone people f***ed things up twice. The escalation team that I was told was handling things apparently didn't get escalated. They were probably too high to be escalated. Uh, so I'm just letting everybody know if you have Spectrum Internet, Spectrum Cable, Spectrum Telephone, Spectrum whatever, just take your own life now. It's not worth living anymore. Uh, some of the... <laughs> Don't say that. Well, if you've got the Spectrum, that's worse than being diagnosed with projectile diarrhea and hooping belch. <laughs> um, and we put these clips up on YouTube, on the YouTube channel, just so everybody knows these assholes are cheating me. And uh, some of the people have commented, uh, one, never use Spectrum personally, but I work in IT and we have an entire troubleshooting article just for Spectrum because their service just sucks. Uh, let's see. Couldn't have said it better myself. I've always said the people who own run Spectrum have a special pr place reserved in hell just for them. Hands down, one of the most shadiest companies to openly exist. Uh, <laughs> to openly exist. To openly <laughs> exist. I also, unfortunately, have Spectrum, and they fucking suck in capitals. Crooks, exclamation point. Let's a uh, fuck Spectrum, capitals. Worst fucking company ever. They overcharge me just for having damn basic cable. Um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The worst is Spectrum. Really glowing reviews. Oh, Spectrum is also called Rectum in some places and Shitrum in other places. Oh, here, God, I hate Spectrum. I am going to download this and keep it around to listen to for the next time my Spectrum <laughs> internet goes out. Should be any minute now. And it's gone. Um, anyway, so yes, yeah, Spectrum till the end of the crack of doom, you motherfuckers keeping me on the telephone, jacking me around all that shit. I will continue to tell people you don't have your shit together. You know how you can really punish them? How? Stop paying them. Then I can't do this show no more. We got it. There has to be something better. We can get in there that won't mean drilling. That, that any... won't mean drilling. None of these people know how any of this shit works. They're all the same. And the internet is, is just the space alien. See, what this is, is this is an episode of the Twilight Zone. And the aliens are up on the hill looking down at us all, getting where our lives rely solely on the internet, but nobody can fix it. Nobody knows how it works and nobody knows where it came from came from the aliens. And once that we're all victimized by this, and once that we're all vulnerable, they're going to strike. And then you know what's going to happen, Brian? We're going to be given rim jobs to Venusians for the rest of our lives as slaves. <laughs> what? Yeah. They're big <laughs> on that on Venus. Haven't you, haven't you read 60s porno science fiction novels? I have not. I have not. They're big on the rim jobs in Venus, and that's what I that they're, they're gonna keep us in cages and and only let us out to give the rim jobs to the Venusians. All right. You accused me of having my head in the clouds or something before, and I don't know what you just came up with. I what did you I accused you of what? What did you say before? I was daydreaming, or I was in the science fiction, or I had my head in the clouds. I forget what you said. You said something. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I have no <laughs> recollection of any of this. <laughs> Possibly somebody can transcribe this program and, and point to the exact moment where we first went south with it. Is there anything Spectrum can do? I mean, they're never going to change. It's always going to be a shitty... I mean... Is there anything, are they going to try to stop you at some point from talking? They could do what they said they were going to do, and they could call me and say, okay, the two people, two different individuals that old Marvin, the repairman who was in your house, talked to on the phone that fucked up the authorization or whatever of your modems and your routers to get the one gig service after you spent an hour on the phone with another guy trying to get him to upgrade your service so you could pay them more money. 
and he fucked something up. And then the other people fucked it up. And then the escalation team was supposed to call me within 24 hours to tell me that I had my one gig service, which Marvin indicated my speed would be 900 fucking something bytes instead of the 600 or whatever I got now because they did the modems and the routers wrong. It's their modems and their routers that they put on, even changed one out. Uh, from what he had originally put on to see if now I'm going into detail. Yeah, they can call me like they were supposed to and say, guess what? We fixed your shit and you're getting everything you're paying for because you have our biggest internet package, two fucking modems in your house and all this other stuff and the cable TV and you still can't order a pay-per-view on either of your cable boxes. We'll fix that too, but I would just take the internet that I'm paying for. So when they, but I'm not going to fucking call another one of these ignorant, stupid com imbeciles and hang on the phone listening to them talk to me nicely for all this time while they proceed to do absolutely nothing. If they call me, I'll stop talking bad about them. Because I was the one that was promised a phone call. I had to talk recently with a, clearly an overseas call center. And they were trained as to what to say. <laughs> and I realized early on, no matter what I said, yes. <laughs> he would respond with, thank you very much for that. <laughs> and then he yes. would continue to say. So I started sprinkling in more and more curses. <laughs> as <I went> out, <laughs> just so he would keep thanking me for it. Happily, not like cursing at him, but just. And then this bullshit, it fucking sucks. Thank you very much for that. I completely understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's a, and everybody that was being spoken to on the telephone that day was right here in the continental United States. Sounded like one of them was from Cleveland where they, it seems that they, they could understand there shouldn't be a language barrier. They work for the company. They're talking to the technician. They're not even talking to me on the phone. They're talking to a technician. So, and between all of those people, they couldn't figure it out. So, fuck them. And I don't feel like anything else any, would be any different. So I will just have fun. 